Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and within this video, I'm going to unbox and then assemble. So you get the unboxing and the assembly, assembly video. So this is the Gorilla Carts. There's several different models available. When I review this after assembling it, you'll see why I went with this one instead of some of the other models. And you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order it online. But without further ado, let's get this out of the box and start the assembly process. Here we go. Easy to take out. So far, so good. Mmm. We'll give it the smell test here. Mmm. It's kind of got a bicycle tire type smell. Mmm. Yes, sir. Pull this out here. Comes right out. No tomfoolery. Whatever you want to call it. Just comes right out here. If you're concerned about purchasing this because you have to assemble it, the assembly is hopefully going to be pretty simple. Oh, I love that smell, man. It smells good. Pro oh, bees, hornets. So, got a pair of scissors. Oh, that's that bicycle tire smell. Mmm. Wow. And they've got air in them. It says, wow, these are nice tires. Man. And that's actually one of the selling points why I went with the Gorilla Cart instead of some other wheelbarrow type things. So you got one, two, a three, a four, four tires. Now that one's attached. I'm going to step back here and make sure everything's still in the camera's field of view before we start the assembly. It's a good thing I did because I need to pull it back just a little bit. So, let's see. Pull this back, pull this back. See how that looks. Okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, one thing I did notice, uh, this one is missing a nipple cover. You can see the little, I mean those are pretty cosmetic and you know, it's the same thing you have on a bicycle tire, but I need to I need to contact grill carts, get them to send me one of those. Not a big deal. I mean, again, pretty much cosmetic, but so what I like to do anytime I'm going to put something together, I like to take everything out and I like to stage all of the components to make sure I'm not missing anything and to just make it a quicker process because you don't want to have to deal with cutting tape and packing wrap and all of that while you're in the assembly phase. Let's see, here we go. Take this out. High quality components, you know, when you fill them in your hands, you, you can definitely appreciate the build quality. So I've already, I already know that I've made the correct decision by going with this Gorilla Cart instead of some of the other options. And surprisingly, it's not that expensive. You know, it's, you can get, it's like anything else, you can go up into the fancier tiers, but this was one of the least expensive, if not the least expensive version. And I like it. I mean, it's high quality. The tires themselves are nice. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take all this stuff out here, all these pieces. And again, we're going to stage them neatly. I was hoping I was going to find that little nipple cover. Oh, here it is. I found my nipple cover. Look. So it was in there. It just fell off, I guess. It fell off the nipple. There you go. Put the nipple cover back on. You got these parts. They're labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And, man, this feels nice. Good quality. Seems like it'll be good, to, easy to clean. Let's get all these packing materials out of the way. They're junky. We don't want packing materials in here in our assembly. And actually what we can do after we assemble it is put uh, put all these packing materials and, and haul it away. That'll be a cool video.
Okay, so look at our owner's manual. Make sure we're still on camera here. And make sure I'm properly showcasing the assembly excitement. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip this piece over. This is the front and this is the rear. We need a pair of scissors, a wrench. Actually, we need quite a few tools. So I'm going to I'm going to pause this and get these tools. Okay, I'm back with my tools. So let's us Let's finish this assembly. The assembly process begins. Okay, so we're gonna get number one, which is labeled. Bolts, washers, and spacers. So number one, we're gonna take them out. That's nice how it's clearly labeled. I mean, you don't have to be a, with the overused phrase, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to. So this is straightforward so far. We're gonna count them out. One, two, three, and four. I also want to mention very nice touch. They put the washer, the spacers in there so that it's less things that could potentially become separated during transport. So we're gonna do that, and then there's a piece that is, uh, let's see. It's a visually identified, which is this. So we're going to go to the Let's see how this goes. It's the other way. It doesn't have any writing, it's just, it's all visual instruction. So, what I can tell, this handle piece, or I'm calling it a handle, it's facing out. This piece, where the thing's exposed, is facing towards you. So, it fits there. Yeah, this is the only end. So, this is the rear. This is the rear of the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The Gorilla Cart. Okay, so yeah, so there's the top ones that go in. Okay, this is it. Because there's top ones that go in, and then there's some that go in the back. So, we're going to start, we'll just start with this bottom piece. Don't want to, don't want to over tighten. So what I'm going to do, I'm putting these, the taking the, one of the washers and the bolt for the nut off. So I got one washer here. I'm going to push it through with one washer. I'm going to get my Phillips head screwdriver. Just to gently push it through here. Just enough when I flip it over, hopefully it won't, you know, hopefully it won't come undone. Oh, I guess that's as, that's as far as it, huh. Wait a minute. Does it want this to go? Seems like it would want that to go down. So I think maybe the washer. Yeah, this isn't really clear. So that washer goes. Let's see, I gotta push this back out now. That's why these assembly videos are good. You get to see what somebody else, how somebody else messes up, messes up. So you'll push, put the washer on top of the hole. Or I should say washers, because you're gonna do this other side too. And this is the big washer. So the big washer there, also the big washer here. Then you put this piece on with this, see? Like that, and you're going to stick your you're going to stick your uh, bolt through. Let's 
It's interesting. It's not wanting to. Uh, well, I stand corrected. I guess the bolt, it does want the bolt on top and the washer there. But you'll see what I mean. It's like the bolt doesn't want to go flush with that. But that's, that's how the instructions are guiding us. So that is the path we will follow, y'all. That is the path we will follow. So we're going to repeat the same thing on this side. Washer and bolt. And then stick the bolts in. Yeah, there's that gap there. You know, you would one would think that it would... But this is how it says to do it. So, now, with, without losing that, we got to... Oh, I stand corrected. It wants this bolt and this washer coming through from the bottom. And then we're going to cap it off with the small washer and the nut. So you got to pay close attention when you do these assembly jobs. So we're going to put this up here. And again, washer's on the bolt, the big washer. Stick it through there. Aha! Now, that's what I expected. So I'm going to do this one side. So now I got the small washer and the nut. I screw the nut on. Just finger tighten it. You know, I'm not... Never tighten everything until you got everything lined up like you want it. So that's finger tight. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. Big washer and the, and the bolt. Stick it through. Got it through. Now I'm going to get a small washer and the nut. And finger tighten the nut. Okay, I finger tighten the nut. Oh. Now, on this back part here, we're going to do the same thing. And with it, the bolt and the big washer also comes through from the inside. So same process, just different, different area there. So, So the big washer and the bolt. And then the other big washer and the bolt. So I got one of them in, I'm gonna And you'll notice it's kind of square, so you, if you need to twist it so it it completely slides in the hole, you'll know what I mean when you when you got it uh, when you're putting this thing together, you'll know what I mean. Now we're going to finger tighten the small washer. I'm going to drop on the small washer and finger tighten the bolt. We're going to do the same thing with this side here. Big washer and the bolt. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and tighten this up. 
So, let's see, do that. I'm gonna get some other stuff out here. Make sure y'all can see that on camera. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold this bolt and then get it from the other side with a screwdriver. Okay, that's good and tight. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Now we're going to do the same bottom ones. And then the other side.
Make sure it's good and tight. It is. Okay, I got that. That part's complete. Ooh. Now, we got go to number two, which is identified as two. It does. Got these two out. Now we're going to take this piece and on the bottom of the cart, on each side, see there's a hole right there. There's a hole on the other side too, man. So with this peg piece sticking towards us, we're going to position this right here. Line it up with those holes on the side. And the bolt and the big, so you're gonna, again, you got two of these, you're gonna take them apart. The nut and the small washer, you're gonna set aside. The nut and the small washer. Set them aside. So now I got my nut and my bolt, and I'm going to go inside and run it through. I got that side through. I'm going to go ahead and put on the small washer and the bolt, you know, just finger tighten it. same thing on the other side. The bolt and the big washer, you know, coming in from the inside of it. Small washer and the nut.
repeat the process for the other side. Good and tight. Can kind of compare it to the other one. I think the other one can go a little bit more. Okay, and the other one went a little bit more. Okay, so we got that on there now. We got that on there. Uh, now we're gonna go to step three. So we're gonna get the number three bolts, number three set right here. It's nice how they labeled it. Easy to get to again. So we've got this. And then this piece that will go in this step is going to be this piece right here. And it's going to go in the opposite side of the cart. It's just going to go right there. Just make sure I still got a good camera angle for y'all. I do. Yep. I do, I do. So again, the bolt. Take, take the nut and the small washer off of each of them. And again, with the big washer and the bolt, you come through from the inside. And when you do, you get your small washer and your nut, screw it on. Just hand tighten. Now I'm going to repeat the process with the other side. Bolt and a big washer. I'm going to hand tighten the Drop on the small washer and the nut. Gonna hand tighten it. Now we're gonna go on the inside with a screwdriver. Now we're holding our nut. I got that one fairly tight. I'm going to do the other one and then jump back and forth. Good and tight. I'm going to finish this one up. Both 
both of those are good and tight. Oh, now we're going to go to step four. So for step four, we're going to have four pieces. One, two, a three, and four. And for it, what we're going to do, there's these two angled pieces. There's one end that has one hole and one that has two. So your one end hole is going to go, these pegs are going to come off, these little plastic protective pieces. And you'll see these two holes here. So it's going to line up. So line this up and that'll tell you which one goes on which side. So this one lines up with that. So that one goes there and then this one will go over here because it lines up with those two holes. But we're going to do one at a time because it'd be stupid. It'd be a stupido to try to do them both at the same time. So again, the, we're going to get take the, the nut and the small washer off. Same with this one, nut and small washer. And then from the inside, we're going to come through with the big washer and the bolt. We're going to hand tighten the small washer and the nut. Again, just hand tighten it because then we got the second one, bolt and big washer. small washer and the nut. I'm just going to hand tighten. Since we're already under here, let's go ahead and hand tighten the other side just so we got... Ow. Oh man, I got blisters all over my hands. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Do the same thing. We're going to take the bolt and small washer off. So the big washer and the bolt is going to go through from the bottom. Small washer on, hand tighten the, the nut. Bolt and big washer. Small washer and your nut. Now we're actually going to tighten this. Ooh. Actually, I'm going to, man, I got such a bad blister. I'm gonna bust out my socket, dude. Get my socket, man.
this makes it a lot easier. Whew, much easier. Tell you what, since I got this, I'm going to check these other ones. Yeah, socket's the way to go, man. Let's see. Let's see, I, I was able to get that one a little bit tighter. Might as well get them good and tight now because it's not like a year down the road so I'm like, hey man, I'm going to tighten up my grill, my grill cart. No, just do it right the first time. Again, so lesson learned, use a socket. Y'all probably mad now. You're like, man, y'all watched the entire video. And you weren't using the socket. Now you are. Now you tell me. Well, sorry. Now if this video has helped you, Again, you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find where to order it online. And also, if you want to, you can choose to super thanks me. You can find a super thanks link down below this video. And that's just a way of thanking me for my time. Again, completely optional. Not required. But deeply appreciated because I'm out here sweating and got bugs on me. Okay, so now all of those are thoroughly tightened. Now, we are on step number... Step number five. So we're going to get out number five, which is this big bolt. Uh, well, it's just a big bolt and a, and a washer. So there's a big bolt. So this is step five. There's a black one, kind of a bronze one, and then the... So the black one is going to go on this first. That's the black one. Then, this piece right here, with this part facing towards the back, 
and this up. So this position, this is going to go on that. Then this bronze colored washer and then this bolt. I'm going to hand tighten it first and then uh, let's see if I have anything big enough for that man. That's huge, huge, huge. I have to really have to use the wrench on it I guess. Yeah, that'd be a big socket, dude. Some of y'all probably have sockets that big, but I'm not big into the assembly business. I just figured I'd film an assembly video with this because it's such a cool car. And if I'm going to assemble it anyway, why not film a video, you know? So I'm sure this has helped a lot of y'all. You know, if it did, definitely comment below, like this video, subscribe to my channel, share with others. If you're on the fence about buying a gorilla cart, and if you've decided to do it because you see how easy the assembly is, uh, you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order it online. I've never been one to buy something and pay for assembly. I think it's a waste of money. Just, you know, again, my personal opinion. What I'm wondering here, if this is supposed to go left and right, no, you want it to be firm. So pay attention when you do this that it's lined up. Because otherwise you're going to be feeling like it's going sideways. Okay, so now we're going to put the tires on. So you'll notice there's this side that has a little cylinder, and then this side that's kind of a cutout. You want the cylinder side to go on the inside. Then you get the number six tools out of here, number six parts. You got four washers, and then you got four clips. So all you do is put a washer on the outside, Wait a minute, I stand corrected. Does the washer go on the inside? See, that part wasn't clear on the instructions. No, it appears the washer goes on the outside. So, again, the peg side, this way. Push it in. And then once it's pushed in, you can put the washer on. And then you'll see the hole for the clip. you have to push it a little bit. And I think I can do this by myself, but... There you go. Now, a common point of confusion, don't think you got to separate this clip. When you push it in, you just push it in. So now we're going to repeat the process with this one. Again, the post side goes on the inside. Then you put your washer on. And then you push your pin through. Actually, that one is not wanting to... That one's behaving differently. Oh, there's two types of pins. No? Let's see what's different about this one. The other one went right in. Maybe it 
needs to come from the bottom. Oh, I see. It's saying to fold it back after you insert it. So that's what the needle nose pliers are for. So I'll, I'll demonstrate that here in a second. Let's go ahead and put them all on, and then we'll do that. So again, the post side on the inside, and then the washer, and then the pin. Yeah, because that did the same thing. If you just stick it in there, it's not going to stay. You're going to have to bend it. But we'll do that up close with the camera so you can see what I'm doing. It's not very clear. And again, this is step six. So, let's move the camera and I'll show you what I'm doing. So see, with the pin just stuck in, it would just fall out and your, your wheel and your, your washer could come off. So what you do is you stick the pin in, and then after it's stuck in with pliers, you bend one, the long piece of it. I'll sh I'll sh let me get to this other side so I can show you better. So see, you bend... You don't want to break it off, but you bend it, and see now, that's not going to come off. And you just repeat that process for all four wheels. Now that we've got our, our pins bent so the wheels will stay on, we're going to flip her over. And I did check the air in the tires, there's plenty of air. So, now what we're going to do is the final step, and that's putting the handle on. You can see there, that's where the handle's going to go. And let's see. So this is the final step. So this is step number seven. So we're going to get the number seven out of this. And you're going to want to do it this way. So the bend, see like that? That's how you want the bend. So the handle. So we're going to take our, uh, take the, the nut off. Just going to line this up. Then we're going to hand tighten the, the bolt. And I think I've got a socket big enough for that. Let's see. Because we learned in this assembly process that a socket is the way to go. We have definitely learned a lot about assembling a gorilla cart. There she is. So we're going to grab the wrench and then we're going to tighten.
you don't want that to be too tight because you want to be able to move your handle. There we go, there's the gorilla cart. And see, I'm going to have to check, I think the, uh, um, this piece right here, it may be meant to move, I may need to loosen it, because it may be meant to be able to move back and forth, but I'm not sure. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe. When you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. And you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find where to order it online. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.